back to my channel. Today I'm going to be attempting to do a DIY. I'm going to be trying to do a mason jar soap dispenser. So I got this little craft bottle at the Dollar Tree. It's plastic. Um, I actually wanted this one because I have a toddler um, and I believe a glass one he probably would break. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I'll insert a picture here of my inspiration. So for this, what I've got is a bottle of soap. I'm going to be taking um, the head dispenser off of it and using that. The craft jar from the dollar store, which you can get the soap from the dollar store as well. I've got a knife, a pair of scissors. So a couple more things I believe I'm going to need is a Sharpie marker and some super glue. So basically I'm just gonna try to cut a hole in this and replace it um, with this soap head dispenser. So let's get right to it. So I'm gonna start out with a circle that big. You can always make it bigger, but you cannot make it smaller. So I'm working with limited supplies. So I'm not sure if this is even gonna cut through it, but we're gonna see. It's pretty thin, so. Ooh. Okay. Now be careful, I just scratched the top of it. Found the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love. Yeah, I surround my soul with the positivity. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. It's not perfect, but I believe once I put this on it, it'll kind of cover it up. So let's go ahead and try. Have some more fun. More fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. Oh, oh, I'll take a hit and still oh, finish oh, and run. Yeah, yeah. doesn't reach the bottom <laughs> so um maybe i shouldn't have cut it as long but i think it'll be fine as you can see it looks fine in there you can't even see the bad hole i'm gonna go ahead and super glue it around and then that'll be that Here is our DIY mason jar soap dispenser. You can always spray paint this or just paint it with uh, white paint or something and distress it. But I don't mind the color, so I'm gonna leave it that. Um, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Oh, so here we go. The super glue held very well. I am really excited. That was so easy. Um, if I could do it over again, I wouldn't have cut the soap stem so. Um, so short and probably need a dacto knife or a scalpel or something to make it more safe and a little bit easier. But here we have it. So this is how it turned out. I'm really excited and happy how it turned out. If you end up trying it, let me know how it came out and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.